Hello, my dear friends. How you doing? It's poor WP again. Today, I'm going to share with you a very old Gabriel Samadhi poem. One of my poems is my pseudonym, Gabriel Samadhi, under which all my shit is copyrighted. Anyway, I'm just showing you my folder. Um, got a lot of glare going on from the skylight. Anyway... Yeah, this is one of my first poems ever wrote. Uh, furthermore, this was really the first poem I ever wrote that I was satisfied with. <clears throat> All the other poems I wrote before this, I would write them and I'd be kind of, you know, iffy about them. And then I'd go back and read them like a couple of days later. And I'm like, man, that kind of sucks. This is kind of cool. Like up here, this part's kind of cool. But this really sucks. This was the first poem I wrote that I read and I was like man this is awesome I love this and to this day I still like it it's still one of my favorite poems that I wrote um this poem helped me this and that uh, other poem my father's war you know that was another time when I wrote this poem bef before my father's war actually and uh I um uh, I was really pleased, I'm really pleased with this. Anyway, I wrote this when I was 16. It was one of the first poems I ever wrote as a young adult. I used to write poetry when I was a child, too. And I stopped. And when I was 16, the fire reawakened in me. <clears throat> I started reading the Beat Generation stuff. <laughs> when I read Howl by Allen Ginsberg, that was it. I had to start writing poetry. <clears throat> anyway, this one is called... A First Kiss Poem. Make me fall. Make me bend. Play me dead. Roll me over. Take me in. As I wash up, wash up on the shore of your soul again. I'm not really sure I'm satisfied with that reading. I'll read it again. Make me fall. Make me bend, play me dead, roll me over, take me in, as I wash up on the shore of your soul again. Yeah, now, the reason why this one's called a first kiss poem is because I wrote this with the intention of, and, uh, and I've done this in reality, Select very selectively, only only a couple of times. Well, the intention of this poem <clears throat> is when you are dating a woman and you're like really digging her and you're like super duper, like everything is just falling into place, which is rare actually. Usually there's a bunch of crap you don't like about them. But if you can find that rare one where like, boy, this is seems so perfect. It's so this is so good. She's awesome, you know. When you go to do that first kiss, when the first kiss comes along, when a moment arises and it's just right, and you go in for that nice, glorious first kiss, <clears throat> well, the the idea is you you have the first kiss, right? And then you hug them after the first kiss. And then you whisper this poem in their ear. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a fantasy you can make into a reality. And that's what I did. I wrote this poem. And I've put it into practice a couple times. Only when it really aligned. Only when it was really real. When it was perfect. You know? It was like... Only when they deserved it. <laughs> that sounds messed up. Only only when it was... I've only ever had a, a you know two dates, first dates with the first... Well, not first dates, but you know... I've only ever dated two women, really, so far that were. It was like perfect, and then the first kiss came. Everything was perfect up to the first kiss, you know, and it looks great. And then you do the first kiss, and you have that moment, and then soon it's a memory. I guarantee you, they probably won't forget it. Oh, they might. Who knows? Depends on the character. But uh, yeah, that's the story. That's the poem. Hope you like it. Wrote it when I was sixteen, nineteen ninety-seven, long, long time ago. Okay. Thank you, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.